Welcome back. We're gonna be doing some fertilizing today. We just gotta go pick up the buggy and then we're gonna be spreading it over a couple of the fields here. Prior to applying fertilizer, we worked with Valley Ag to do a series of soil samples in a variety of our pastures to determine which ones were in need of additional nutrients. These soil tests evaluate pH, percentage of organic matter, as well as essential nutrients such as nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, magnesium, sulfur, and calcium. Valley Ag then gives us a fertilizer recommendation based on the results of these tests. So we we get, have this buggy that's behind us here uh, that spreads it out. We calculate uh, exactly how much is going on per acre so we can get an exact amount that we're, uh, we're putting on. So the way the spreader works is this uh, belt pulls the uh, fertilizer material, drops down here, and then as we're going across the field, these are spinning. These here are spinning. So the fertilizer drops onto these and that spins it out and it throws it out. So it throws 40 feet each way. So we make an 80 foot swath across the field, uh, putting down 100, 100 pounds of material per acre. So we turn around and then we come back alongside that swath and we keep doing that back and forth until we're, we're across the field. This is how we calculate it. And uh, we want to put on about 100 pounds or so of material. So we set the, we set the uh, gauge at two and a quarter inches. And if we wanted to put on more material, obviously we'd open up a little bit more. If we wanted to put on less, we would do. So that's about two and a quarter pounds, or two and a quarter inches, I'm sorry, which is equivalent to 105 pounds per acre of material going on. This is the um, drive that drives the spinners. So we should be all set. We always say should be until we actually do it, make sure it works. <laughs> Conducting soil tests and applying the proper amount of fertilizer allows us to optimize our pasture production, protect the environment from contamination by runoff or leaching of excess fertilizer, and improve the nutrient balance of the growing media. Timing of these applications is also important. Applying fertilizer during the plant's vegetative state ensures that nutrients are taken up versus being leached out. Precipitation also plays a role, as high precip, such as during the winter, would cause unnecessary leaching and would be during the plant's dormant stage. Right now we're spending about 100 pounds of fertilizer per acre. Of that, 40% is nitrogen and 6% is sulfur. It's being spread out in little pellets. And the reason why we're doing it right now is we're gonna be getting some rain here within the next couple of days. So that's gonna dissolve the little pellets, let them become available in the soil for the plants, and hopefully we'll get some really good grass growth. 
We also choose to use the pellets because they slowly release the fertilizer into the soil versus liquid fertilizer that makes the nutrients immediately available but is not retained as long in the soil. to get a couple of fields done this afternoon but we still have a few to finish tomorrow morning uh, we're not going to drag you all along for that but thank you so much for joining us today and we'll see you all again soon we look forward to showing you more of what we do here on the ranch in the next one